one, the only bizarre. Sam, who's the other guy? Sam. Sam. They are playing Inkling. Nice tag. All right, Sam, let's go. Go up against Beast. We're going in. I think this is top eight now, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, definitely. Winner Sam. Let's get it. So, for you guys, you guys checking in. We're in top eight here in the lab. Welcome back. If you guys haven't did the like, share, style, blah, 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 you know, all that fun stuff. All right, we're getting right back. <laughs> All right, Squirrel taking control there as they are with the, uh, the rapid combos and uh, uh, extenders. But again, Inkling known for that as well, so it'll only be a matter of time before uh, Sam gets right back into this. So this is where we're gonna, I guess, separate the men from the boys, where everybody gets to make their mark. Mm. So all the kid gloves are generally off, you know, everybody is trying to time. But I mean, they're, they're a kid now and a squid now, so <laughs> they, don't have, they don't have much options. Huh, interesting, uh, you know, little option there. I mean, Inkling just opting for the, the turnaround forward smash. Hmm. Really weird. I guess he was looking for some sort of like match out option. Not really sure, but definitely does, does get a chance to capitalize on that. Beast really covering a lot of options there with that walk off reverse nair. I like that. But I do, I do. Well, I did like the patience from Sam just letting uh, Beast throw out of those options and not finding any purchase with them. But Beast still on top of it after the fact. But again, the roller conversions have proven so effective for Sam in claiming stops and making it 2-2 now. But again, Beast still on stage pressure is immaculate. Squirtle combos are lengthy. Mm. And just all, all, even off stage, just pressuring the recovery, which Sam had a little trouble with against their uh, uh, previous opponent, Stretch. Yes. That's rough, man. I mean, he seems to just really have a hard time. And like, nice tech chase, just goes ahead, clips that second jump. He's got to get back on and does not get denied that Nair was just a little bit too late. But gets back in it. Sam with a nice little up air combo to Nair's just dropping those in. All right, falling back here. Goes for the dash attack, not enough. He actually gets that shielded little jab lock set up. And he's done. Hit that water sword on him. Ooh, juke him. Back air. All right, goes for the down tilt. Nice little setup. A little ledge trap with the bomb, paint bomb. Can't make anything come out of that parry, but all right, Sam back with it. Yeah. Oh, up smash. Challenging the withdrawal, too. It actually came out in Sam's favor. I'm not in love with these setups. I'm a little bit confused at where Sam's going with them, but I mean, he's definitely covering a lot of those immediate jump options. So. Right. Uh, it's, I mean, it, uh, like uh, Turtle Hands was saying before, the uh, skill gap for Inkling is uh, pretty defined. So you, you definitely have to know. And maybe against someone, you know, as unpredictable as these can be, right. it's a little hard for uh, Sam to adapt to or to pay down at first. And relying a lot more on the roller. We, had, we only saw maybe two, or, or three or so connect uh, against Stretch, but uh, they're proving to be a lot more beneficial, so maybe we'll see Sam uh, resort to them a lot more. Mm. Now that was a nice little setup there, I like that. So um, actually putting the uh, the grenade off stage there and then going for any of the, uh, the little options just directly under it. Sam's actually starting to utilize his paint a little bit more, his consumption really, really on point. I haven't really seen him have to go out and like, you know, refill ink too often. Oh, oh dear. Beast taking the brunt of that Ooh. forward air. Actually collides with the paint grenade back on stage. Sam just constantly just gut checking him with that forward tilt forward air. Right, maybe he might have leaned in the Charizard a bit early, but I mean, he, at 176 now, he doesn't have any other option. Yes, sir, but this is Ray's Zard, so he is going to have to play around a lot of those options very, very carefully. Off stage, Beast wants it. Back on stage, Sam is right there. It's a little empty hop, just faking him out. Beast going ahead, checking him with the forward, the, the triple jab. Yeah, those back airs, just, you know, that pressure. Ooh, well, if it's not one option from Beast, it's another. It's either the back air oh, or the up smash. He sent him with the hop, skipping and jump straight to the blast. <laughs> so he's that stop jumping around me, bro. Man, I fly, man. Why are you hopping? Come on. Right. <laughs> so right back on stage, he's just barely with that dare, man. Look at that on the replay, but mm, just catches him lacking. Yeah, fire flying type, not dragon type. Learn right. it. Learn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so going right into game two here, Beast with some data. Sam going ahead. Doesn't even seem to be shaking in the player cam. Looks like he's right at home here. So we're going right back. I think Sam feels like he's gonna see the code here. He's gonna go ahead and make the adjustments. All right, retreating bear, gets a little pain on him. You know what I mean? All right, let's go right back into it. Nice little multi-jab, rapid jab here. Mm -hmm. Post Sorry. ledge too, so they can maximize oh. how much they did it. Yep, set up with the grab. Actually takes advantage of that nice little up tilt. Beast looking for the, the platform trap here at the ledge. 
not able to go ahead and get that. Button goes ahead and follows up with the up throw, up air combo. Putting a lot of good damage on him. Just striking the platforms, but Sam, constantly with that roller reprisal, he's really kind of just catching beasts in those very little intimate moments where he's just not prepared for it. Yeah, those intimate moments, I was about to say, the platform, uh, Beast, you know, was using up throw, trying to force Sam to those platforms where he already had control and not a lot of real estate for Sam to sort of counterattack or anything. Right. That was a great option for him to just keep the pressure going and uh, Sam trying to pick up the pieces afterward has done so. Mm. Put Charizard at 135 here. Yeah, and Sam just really starting to feel the heat on those up smash, those up smash checks, mm -hmm. man. Because each and every time, Beast is really making him count for it. You know the flare blitz is coming. Goes ahead, puts that reverse nair to him. Dunks oh! him! Oh, is that Ben Simmons or that's Beast <laughs> in the paint right now? I'm just saying, like, what's good? I mean, you gotta wonder. Uh, uh, back there, back there. You already know what time it is. I don't want to speak. Against, you know the vibes. I don't want to speak against Sam, but why did they go after uh, the Charizard off stage like that? They were in the wheelhouse. They I had control. Two oh nine on Charizard. I mean, yeah. Sooner or later, when you get the damage up, it, it's gotta be in. So forty five, not uh, a whole lot. Uh, Inkling can definitely chalk that right back up for themselves. Right. 30 for 30 though, In Inkling right back on, he's on his, all, right on his back with this very nice pressure though, he's trying to put back up on the Beast, just trying to make up for this extra credit, really making him count on all those options, chose high this time. All right, so Inkling back on stage, Roller. All right, Beast just kind of pressuring, nice little cross up here, really making him count for those options. Looks for the jab lock, I think. Or up smash again. See that? And he's really calling out those short hops like just there's a not clean. He's yeah. like, you go to the air, man, I'm punishing you. And there it goes again. Ooh. Great charge that time. He's letting these tech. All right, and again, I'm not so certain about challenging Charizard off stage. I'm, I'm not seeing a whole lot of gain from it. Maybe, I know, uh, something could happen in the tail end of this match, but so far, not a whole lot gained from Sam to be chasing Charizard. Who has a very, you know, I mean, out of all of the three Pokemon, has the, the best recovery, especially with Flare Blitz, you know, so hard to get around. Yeah. I, I like the down tilt, like, you know, just making him put him on notice for each one of those options, and then here it comes. I feel like that reprisal is really slow, but he's really checking him on a lot of those rollers. I, I'm missing exactly where it's coming in, but Dash Attack is going to put some damage on. Mm -hmm. Down tilt really doesn't convert, so he goes ahead and settles for the triple. Oh, Ooh. wow, I love that. Put some sauce on that. I like it. Ooh, down tilt. Made him really check him. Tried to call out that air dodge. Wasn't able to get the forward smash, but goes ahead. A little down air here. Looks like he almost read that roll get up, but takes a little paint. Just about, yeah but just a little misposition going to the other side of the stage. Yep. Slow down because of the ink, not gonna get the withdrawal hit. Definitely. Forced to swap the Ivy Sword with 86 on, looking for Going it, has there. to escape, and he does. Very good, nice job by, nice good evasion by Beast there. Oh, now he's off stage, all right, so. <clears throat> Sam not able to get a whole lot of mileage off that last ledger, you know, interaction, but back to his guns. That's interesting, I don't know what is exactly causing uh, the reverse for that paint grenade. It seems like it's throwing him in the opposite direction. I'm, I'm lost there. You're gonna have to throw me in there. Uh, I can't really speak for it. The only thing I could say is that it hit from behind, but the come from behind turnaround there. Pivot tilt. Yeah, Puts man. Him on his back. Tilt man. His, his defense was greatly lowered, so he took that straight to the face. It doesn't even do any damage in the game. But now it does it here. Come on, Nintendo. It's got fire on it. Sure. It's got fire. <laughs>